Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Polina and today we have a plan with me in my favorite Hobonichi weeks of 2023 and this is the leather silver white and these are the materials that we will be using for today. In fact, today's video is a setup flip through as well as a plan with me towards the end. So let's get started. First, let's go through my setup and I'm going to be flipping through the pages that I have set up. She's not completely set up yet, but I do have something in the end paper and it is the card that comes with the Dark Side of the Moon album from my favorite K-pop artist. And then the front matter has stickers um, from a local shop and these are drawn based on a BTS, my favorite BTS album. And then we have the calendar. It's very minimal. Um, in terms of design, I just have a few stickers on top of the numbers with different symbols. And then the monthlies haven't been set up yet, but let me go ahead and show you the week that had passed. So this is the first week in the Hobonichi weeks of 2023. And I just was using this as a journal of sorts so that's why it doesn't have any list otherwise that would be more like a planner than a journal but then i decided that i needed a wellness planner and i already have a diary so it wouldn't uh, make sense if i have a second diary and that's just a pencil board that i made using the packaging that came with one of my soft cover hobonichis and then let's go through the notes pages first this is the start and that sticker is from Kiki K, one of my favorite illustrations from that uh, shop. And we have some pages for reflection um, for 2022 as well as 2023. And then I have this sleep tracker that's a full year of sleep tracker, but I only made a few months, like half of the months. And then these are my reference pages and this one has mindfulness, so I just search for these topics and then write down the things that I want to remember, such as the value of reading and ikigai, which is a Japanese thought. And I'll talk more about that soon in another video. So let's go ahead and start with the plan with me. So first, I'm going to be lining the pages using the Monomi pen that I have been using for the past few weeks. This is a really nice pen because it makes really faint lines, but at the same time, you can still see it um, uh, to separate the page. And it's just very reliable. It dries up very quickly. And here I'm just dividing the grid, the small grid section on the right page. And actually all the lining had been done in terms of dividing the page, but here I'm making a little section for something else and I'll show you that in a little bit. So when you flip it over, I'm going to go ahead and get started with putting pen to paper. But before that, I'm going to put the stickers down and I have some washi designs that I cut off of a giant washi strip and I just decided that I wanted a few pages or at least this month to be a little bit more of a flora theme and this is the pen that we will be using for today and this is the Lamy Safari in cream with an F nib. Um, in this fountain pen I have the Ferris Wheel Press in Land of Shangri-La which is a, an ashy brown that's what they call it but uh, for me I would say that it is a very dark brown. Um, if it is an ashy brown, then it's a very dark ashy brown. And I quite like this, actually. It's become one of my favorites, and I really love using it. It matches this pen very well. I mean, the consistency of the ink. So here I'm just writing down in script all my headers. So I have body talk, gratitude, and treats. So special treats, special rewards for myself. And that little section on the right, um, or bigger section on the right, are going to be my trackers. So the trackers are going to be in landscape format, and I'm just writing the 
letters of the week and my habits or the habits that I'm tracking. So I have skincare, meditate, and yoga. So a lot of these are self-care because this is my health and wellness planner, with the exception of uh, body talk. Actually, most of them are self-care and mental health. So body talk is something that I found from Penguins Creative Co. I think that's what it's called. Um, and she has a video. She made. She did a talk about uh, using your Hobonichi Weeks as a wellness tracker. And she used um, the header body talk for you to write down anything wrong Um, If you're feeling odd, feeling different, um, you can write it down under body talk. So these are all of the habits that I want to track. And the bottom ones are my journals. So my Hobonichi Weeks, as well as my journal. And this is the tracker complete. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Monami pen once again to write a line from the habit towards the tracker itself where I'm going to be crossing off the days because it's a little too far. And so that's something that you can do. And then I'm using that uh, lower part, the bottom part for another tracker. And this is going to be my sleep tracker, which I want to fix because my insomnia has gotten very bad. Um, I feel like it's not really insomnia as of yet. It's more of my sleep patterns is really off. I fall asleep like at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So here I'm completing my water tracker and at the bottom of that I'm writing my next week section because this is a plan with me with paper joy. There must be a next week section. Next, let's go through the notes pages, which is going to be for my journaling. But first, let's go through the quote for today. And it says, to tell you the truth, until now, I didn't enjoy writing poetry that much. But now I'm enjoying it. I might even say that writing poetry is my reason for living. And this is written by or said by a poet, which I will not be saying or pronouncing because uh, it's a little bit difficult for me. So on the notes pages, I'm writing down guide questions for my eventual journal entry. For me, journaling is not like diary entries or memory keeping at all Um, in terms of structure. Journaling shouldn't have a structure. It should be a brain dump wherein you're just putting your thoughts down on paper. It doesn't need to make sense. The important thing is that You feel like you've told someone and you've gotten it out of your head or off your chest. So journaling is about releasing this information on paper. And this is not something that you will be actually required to read in the future. It's nice to have, but you don't have to read it. So that is my journaling pages, and I may choose to answer all or just a few or just one of those questions. And at the bottom of the page, I wrote down the page number so that I can reference to it in the future. So now let's go through our page anatomy. This is our page completed before the pen, and there are only a few things here. So let's go through the left side first. There are two columns. The first column is body talk, which talks about my health, feelings of my body, tracking headaches and things like that, and then gratitude. And then on the right side of the page, I have my treats. So I like to reward myself almost at a daily basis for the hard work that I'm doing, because who else is going to do that? And then I have a giant tracker and smaller trackers at the bottom and then next week. And here I'm putting down my pencil board, DIY pencil board. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you liked this video of my flip through of my leather weeks, which is called My Sun. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want some more planning videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.